Nate G219 here to help it back and better. Y'all know what it is. Another episode coming at you. And uh, like I said, I just got done recording one. I'm going to record another. This is one I've been um, wanting to get back out to you. I'm sorry if I'm looking over, not looking like I'm paying attention to the audience, but um, this right here is about a guy named Frederick Bear. A lot of y'all may recognize the name, but many of y'all do not. In 2004, um, Bear, Bear was resentenced to the, uh, or in 2004, Bear was sentenced to death for the murder of a woman and child. Now, his intentions when he saw the woman was to attack the woman and commit the unthinkable upon her. Take her, yeah, not the child's, as, at least his claims. So, this man's been featured on MSNBC. He's been featured on other specials. This man was on death row, and this man deserved to be on death row. Now... The man, like I described down the road for me, the only thing he didn't do is uh, murder the people. So he got an eight year served four sentence. So I've technically served more time than a guy that fiddled three toddlers. Three toddlers. Same judge, same county, all of that. But back to Frederick Bear. Frederick Bear was resentenced in um, August of uh, either at the end of July or the beginning of August of 2019. The article is from August 1st of 2019 and that's from the Herald Bulletin. Um... Bear resentenced to life for 2,000 murder of woman and child near Lapel, which is a very small town in Indiana, which many towns in Indiana are very small. Now, Jessica Kent, she's done a video on him, and just like me, like her, I am disgusted with this man. Along with the gentleman in Death Row. If you were to watch any MSNBC episodes uh, featuring him. Or anybody that was in <clears throat> on. Okay, I'm going to start calling it X Row. Because in Indiana State. It's called X Row. It's not called Death Row. It's X Row for one. So, while on X Row. This man, every time he came out. He was assaulted, just life was rough for him. So, my my good buddy Cletus, who um, at 18, a junior in high school, was kind of uh, taking on a piece of crap like Frederick Bear, who you see in the thumbnail. Um, He, you know, took a piece of crap like that out. Is now at a prison surrounded like pieces of crap that have hurt children. And done things to children. So, about Frederick Bear though. How on earth you justify that man deserves to live? Because he didn't do anything sexual towards the, the woman or child. He was going to. He had every intention. In fact, only intention was to take the woman's womanhood and, you know, destroy her emotionally, mentally, and instead took her life and her child's life. I, you know... 
the only thing I'm grateful for is that she doesn't have to live with the trauma. That's horrible. Losing her, her child because he didn't want to get caught. And um, give me a quick second. I'm going to do a quick search. All right. So it says when Frederick Bear was 32 years old, he murdered 26-year-old Corey Clark after attempting to uh, assault her sexually. Once Corey was dead, Bear chased down Jenna, her four-year-old daughter, and killed her as well. Her four-year-old daughter. That's just... Bear had been driving around Clark's neighborhood and arrested shortly thereafter. Bear attempted to plead guilty, but mentally ill. But the court denied the plea even though two appointed uh, mental health experts found Bear was indeed mentally ill. Bear was found guilty and sentenced to death on June 9th of 2005. So, it didn't take them too long from the time of crime to getting uh, found guilty and uh, sentenced to death. So, Bear was raised in Indianapolis, though he never knew his biological father. He and his older sister were ad adopted by their mother's new hu husband. Frederick remembers it being a good childhood. He says his mother and stepfather were loving, and he and his sister never went hungry. Things were good. Then Evelyn, Frederick's beloved older sister, was murdered by her abusive ex-husband. Frederick wasn't even a teenager yet, so at a very young age, he uh, did suffer some traumatizing situations. That doesn't justify what the man had done. His intentions were not that of anything to relate to what he had seen done. Or experienced having a loved one done to. Evelyn's death drove the, the entire family into a down, downward spiral. Bear's stepfather started using alcohol to deal with the tragedy. Before too long, he started getting emotionally and physically abusive. Frederick had not only lost his sister, but was losing his relationship with his stepfather as well. So, yeah, he did go through something very traumatic. Not excusable, though. Taking two innocent souls is just not excusable. So, it doesn't seem like Bear had any sort of um, prior background, any indicators that he would do something like this. It wasn't like it was he was um, reoffending, like they had let an offender out, but. He obviously mentally ill. He admitted it. He he knew he was mentally ill. Read you a little bit more. Um, on the 25th of February 2004, Bear was working on a construction site. He had been using meth for some some time and was coming down from his last binge forever. And <clears throat> most of you know meth will. Uh, make you see and believe things and do things that are the unthinkable. So, during the come down cycle, um, you'll just, you'll feel pain, anxiety, depression, hopelessness. Much more than that. I've never come down from meth, so I don't know. Bear had steeped in a cycle when uh, he left his job site and drove to the LaPelle, Indiana neighborhood where Corey Clark lived. Corey's oldest daughter was at school and her husband was out of, out of state for to look for a job. Bear had seen Corey outside and pulled up to her house and knocked on her door. Young Jenna answered the door and Frederick asked if he could talk to her mother. 
When Corey came to the door, Bear told her he lost his, uh, he was lost and if he could use her phone. Corey turned from the door to go get the phone and Bear followed her inside. After both Corey and Jenna were dead, Bear stole a little bit of cash and Corey, that was in Corey's purse and then left the house. So, you know, Bear says he was there to do one thing, did three others, killed two and robbed one of them. I, you know, so do I think he deserved the death penalty? I do, absolutely. You know what? I'm sitting here as a man, as a wife, as a daughter. I had a mother, and I've known, I've had friends that have had their female loved ones killed, murdered in a horrible fashion. Some of them assaulted in what, the way he wanted to do, and just sad, man. It's sad. But now, Bear sits with a life sentence. He sits as a level three. He was leveled down because of his good behavior. I don't know how it's possible to level down when you've got a double murder and you've come off that X row. I, I don't get it, but he's at Miami Correctional Institute in the state of Indiana. I don't know what else to say about this, but I'm sick and, and meanwhile, I can't even uh, get through the central office to help try to get my buddy his uh, tablet stuff working. Greatest furlong, you know. I just, I, sometimes it makes me feel hopeless. I see people like uh, Frederick Bear reaping all these benefits and doing all this and people like my boy Cletus getting hung out to dry and I can almost guarantee it's because uh, Gary German, the prosecutor on the case is upset because Cletus didn't sign the plea agreement the unconstitutional plea agreement anyways guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that channel if you want to su su support Da, da, da. Support me. Yeah, hit that channel. Anyways, never forget life's choices. And guys, you know if they ain't hating it, you ain't making it.